Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86. Over the years, I have grown into a fanboy of Royal Kludge, so take that for what you will when watching this. Each time I try something new from them, even if it isn't my style of keyboard, I usually walk away feeling a bit more impressed by them. This is the N80, and it's a member of the new family of keyboards from Royal Kludge, featuring screen HUDs built into the keyboard. That's a heads-up display, little little screen with stuff in it. And it's definitely nice by my standards. In the box, we get a user guide right on top, the keyboard itself, and some accessories, including new switches or replacement switches a cap and switch puller, and the USB cable, which has a USB-C to A adapter on it. A lot of people want that tippity-tap test first, so let's get that out of the way real quick for people just interested in hearing what this keyboard sounds like. This keyboard is a low-profile red mechanical switch keyboard. So switch and or cap swapping is a little more unique and niche if customization is something that you have in mind it probably can be done. I actually don't know what low profile switches would fit to replace these five pin that look like they're sort of five and a half pin switches. But also I find them pretty on point for my personal taste so I have no inclination to try. On the backside bottom are two stage riser feet that can be located in the back right and left and they can adjust the height between two stages. If you want to lay it flat there's four points of contact for laying it flat. Around the back is a mechanical slide to stash your 2.4 gigahertz dongle which is primo and opposite of that side is a power switch a usb in for wired and charging and a usb-c pass through for pc another c to a adapter would have been real handy here as most peripherals are still going to use the a standard predominantly that's just some food for thought the gorgeous volume wheel and screen are extremely useful at the top right of the keyboard. You can pair Bluetooth using three different Bluetooth pairing options, swap to charge or dongle mode, as well as control a massive amount of features for lighting mode, speed, brightness, and so on. A quick depression changes it back to volume wheel input to adjust the volume. Having a battery indicator here is very useful too. I know they've had creative ways in the past where you would just hit two function key buttons and it would light up how much battery you had on the number keys, but it's extremely nice to just have a number of how much charge you have. I played with the features on this for a good hour almost, and it went from 58% to 57% out of the box. Battery life will always depend on your demands on the keyboard itself, but ultimately it seems to be pretty awesome so far. Time's really going to be what tells if that battery lasts and stays as good as it seems to be right now. This may be one of the easiest keyboards to not need software for, but of course Royal Clutch has software for it, so you can cover all the bases with ease. And have a little bit more accessibility when it comes to setting up macros, changing binds, and more intricate settings when it comes to lighting. I like Royal Clutch keyboards. If you know me, that's not a secret. I bought four RK96s and I recommend it the most. As far as someone needing a full-size keyboard, that's my go-to favorite for right now. But for an even smaller 10 keyless low profile form factor, the N80 here has a huge thumbs up from me. I hope this overview was somewhat helpful and useful to someone. You guys have a great day, night, whatever it is, and I'll see you in the next video that I do.